Okay, guys. We are reading the comic The Clever Boy and the Dangerous Animal. Terrible Dangerous Animal. And the cameraman is sitting with me. Right? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a very clever boy who lived in a village. He knew what one plus one was. <laughs> nearby, another, nearby was another village that he had never visited. When he was old enough to be allowed to go about on his own, he thought he would like to see the other village. And what is this? What is this? Or who is this? We may never know. So one day he asks, uh, ha asked his mother if he could go and she said yes. As long as you look both ways before you cross the road. You must be very careful. Okay. The boy agreed and set off at once. Set off at once. When he got to the, the side of the road he looked both ways. And because there was nothing coming he knew he could cross safely. But there's no cars in the village, uh, countryside right? Yes. And look at him. Is this, <laughs> does he look careful to you? And that's just what he did. Look, his eyes are just near his mouth. Then he skipped down the road towards the other village. And now it is here, with his ears. His eyes are with his ears. Just outside that village, he came upon a crowd of people who were standing in a field and he went up to see to them to see what they were doing as he drew near. He heard them singing, I mean saying, Ooh, ah, chapri, I mean, oh, and he saw that they looked quite frightened. Now look at the boy. <laughs> Wait, oh my goodness, how you gotta come here? Ooh, ah, he went up to one of the men, said, uh, man and men then said, why are you saying, ooh? Ah, and Chaprit, oh, and why are you all so frightened? Oh, dear me, said the man. Oh, you'll be the man, you'll be the man, I'll be the child. Oh, dear me, <laughs> said the man. There is a terrible, dangerous animal in this field, and we are all very frightened because it might attack us. Where is this? Where is the terrible, dangerous animal? Asked the boy, looking around. Oh. Be careful, be careful, cried the people. But, but, the clever boy asked again, Where is that terrible, dangerous animal, you fools? <laughs> oh, no, wait, it's your cue. It's your cue. This one. Ah! Ugh. And so the people pointed to the middle of the field. And when the boy looked where they pointed, he saw a very large... Watermelon! I was right, there was a watermelon in there, right? That's not a terrible, dangerous animal, laughed the boy. Come on. Is that cute? Yes, it is! It is! cried the people. Keep away, it might bite you. Now the boy saw that these people were very silly indeed, so he said to them, I'll go and kill this dangerous animal for you. No, no, cried the people. It's too terrible. It's too dangerous. It might bite you. <coughs> ah, chaprit. Oh. But the boy went right up to the watermelon, took a knife out of his pocket and cut a large slice of it. Wait, what? Why does he keep a knife in his pocket? He's a murderer. The people were astonished. What a boy, brave boy. They said he's killed the terrible, dangerous animal. Okay, he killed the terrible, dangerous animal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just two pages. As they spoke, the boy took a bite out of the large slice of watermelon. Okay. Look, cried the people. Now he's eating that terrible, dangerous animal. He must be a very, he must be a terrible, dangerous boy. As the boy walked away from the middle of the field, waving his knife and eating the watermelon, the people ran away, saying, Don't attack us, you terrible, dangerous boy. Keep away. 
Oh, I'm a cute little boy with eyes on my hands, eyes on my mouth, eyes on my teeth. <laughs> Go away! Shoo! 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 At this, the boy laughed again. He laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And the cameraman just got away. And then the people wondered why he was laughing, so they crept back. But why? What are you laughing at? They asked timidly. You're such a silly lot of you people, said the boy. You don't know that what you call a dangerous animal is just a watermelon. What's a watermelon? Do you know? Maybe it's a dangerous animal. Maybe it's a dangerous fruit. Watermelons are very nice to eat. We've got lots of them in our village, and everyone eats them. Hop, 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 hop. Delicious. Delicious. Do you like a watermelon? No. Oh. But I like watermelons. Yes. Eat them. Then the people became interested, and someone said, Well, how do we get watermelons? There's a big watermelon in front of you. Come on! You take the seeds out of a watermelon, and you plant them like this. He, put a, he said, putting a few seeds in the ground. Or the seeds in the ground. Then you give them water and look after them. And then after a while, lots and lots of watermelons will grow from the seeds. See, kind of, what kind of big watermelon is that? Wait, <laughs> it's like this. Wait. So the people did what the boy showed them. Okay, first put the, first put the water, then the seed, then take care of it. No, no, you're doing it wrong. First put the seed. No, first put the first take care of it, then put the water, then seed. No, 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 no. First take care of the seed, then we have to put it in the ground and do it. You're all doing it wrong. No, you're doing it wrong. No, you're doing it wrong. Let's just put water on the seed and take care of it. Yeah, it would not grow, right? No, it grew. No, it grew. And now in all the fields of the that village, they have lots and lots and lots of watermelons. Oh, hey, mother. Look, there are 100 and million dangerous animals outside. They sell some, they eat some. Take this watermelon? No, no. Take 100 watermelons. I'll give you money. How much? <laughs> they give away some. Uh, you take this watermelon? Uh, I don't have enough space. Take this watermelon? Oh, uh, 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 uh. And that's why their village is called Watermelon Village. We're watermelon. We're terrible, dangerous animals who are just watermelons. And people are sleeping on the roof. The end. Ooh, and just think it all happened because a clever boy was not afraid when a lot of silly people thought something was dangerous just because they had never seen it before. Duh.